The Denver police officers who shot and killed a teenage driver are cleared of any wrongdoing. The DA is calling the decision to shoot 17-year-old Jesse Hernandez justified. 7 News reporter Mark Stewart is talking to both sides after today's decision. And Mark Hernandez's family is calling out the DA. And the DA says the officers' lives were in danger. Yet the lawyers representing the teen's family feel the DA's office is acting as a guardian of DPD. This is the Denver alleyway where Jessica Hernandez was killed in January. Police say they shot the teenager after she drove toward them in a stolen car, putting an officer's life in danger. I don't have her anymore, only her memory. In February, I spoke to her parents about her death. Do you believe your daughter was the victim of a crime? Yes. Yet the Denver district attorney now calls the shooting legally justified. Keep in mind, both officers are between the fence and this car as it's moving. DA Mitch Morrissey says one of the officers became trapped and had to shoot to save his life. They were trying to get somebody to follow their lawful orders, to get out of a stolen car, and then the car started to make the movements that it did. It became a danger, and that's when the officers responded. Police policy states officers can only shoot at a moving vehicle if there's no other way to protect themselves from danger. Lawyers representing the Hernandez family question if the officers followed the rules in the first place, calling the conduct excessive and unreasonable. Tonight, there are renewed calls for the feds to investigate this and other police-related killings. The DA works closely with the police all the time, and so there's going to be a natural you know, bias there against bringing these kinds of charges. That's why we need an outside you know, investigation. The district attorney says his decisions are an open book and is inviting the ACLU to review the evidence he's used to make his decisions. I'm Mark Stewart, 7 News. Thanks, Mark. And one other note here, Denver Mayor Michael Hancock is also speaking out about the DA's decision. In a statement, he said today this was a tragic event for the Hernandez family, the police officers involved in this incident, and our entire community. And he says, I ask everyone to review the district attorney's letter for a complete explanation of what happened that day.